action overhead. We also have those showers, isolated thunderstorms down to the south over Concord, one in Montgomery County up in Troy area. Those showers are also spreading in through Greenville, South Carolina, down through Columbia, and then eventually these are going to be adding up half to one inch totals for many, if not more. Now we've had those flood watches up for Atlanta and Athens. We're just continuing to see those bands around tropical uh, depression Claudette just spinning in. Earlier it was a tropical storm, so you might have heard us say that too, but now that it's inland, it does start to lose its strength very quickly. It's moving across the land, losing that warm energy of the Gulf of Mexico. And so you've got winds at 35 miles an hour. Movement is to the northeast at about 16 miles an hour. We'll tap into some of these showers as they lift in. Now most of the heavier rain is still expected south of Interstate 85 and to the east as well. We do have some isolated tornadoes. This one's south as we go along 16 and south of Vidalia here near Odom. We're watching for that threat of tornadoes for most folks to the south of us tonight. Tomorrow there could be a risk of an isolated severe storm or two. One or two could bring in an isolated tornado. This is mainly over areas of Montgomery County. Notice we're just on that western edge of this marginal risk area. So we'll keep you posted if that does shift back to the north at all for any reason that could increase the threat across the tribe. But for now, mostly in southeastern Randolph County and Montgomery County is where we expect to see any concerns tomorrow. Flash flood watches, those are up too. We could see some flash flooding where we get a shower storm. All of that good tropical moisture might enhance the rainfall totals that we'll get. And you notice temperatures out there in the 80s. Yeah, it was steamy today, right? Our hour by hour shows that the temperatures really not impacted a whole lot by the rain coming in initially. We've got a couple of waves here. We've seen the clouds get thicker out there tonight and you could hear rumble thunder in the distance, but most folks are not going to see all of those showers and storms that folks are seeing now to the south. It looks like the system does stay pretty much out over areas of Charlotte and of course wrapping in some of those storm bands as we get closer to Wilmington. But for us, it looks like minimal activity at least to start, but can't rule out showers and storms that might lift north. We're going to have good moisture. We'll have temperatures there in the low to mid 80s and we could have some of those afternoon and evening thunderstorms continue all the way into our early Monday morning. You notice those rain bands also are a little tricky uh, to, to spot as we get you throughout the afternoon hours when, it when we talk about the tropical activity. We just have very good moisture in place and likely seeing some widely scattered activity even though not everyone will see the rain. Temperatures today 91 degrees in Reedsville, 92 Danville. Winston-Salem made it to 90, 88 at least in Green Bro, and look at this 87 in Liberty with 84 in Bermuda run right now. You've got some showers that have been trying to form around over in Davie County, so that's helped to cool you down in spots. 82 in Pilot Mountain, 84 right now in advance as well. And look at this showers down to the south, mainly impacting folks in South Carolina. First, we do have some concerns right along the beach. This is a tropical uh, storm watch right now that we've had up for a little while that could redevelop and bring in more strong thunderstorm activity tomorrow. 70 degrees tomorrow morning in the Triad, 84 on your Father's Day. It does look to be a rather cloudy day, but spots of sunshine possible with temperatures at 82 in the Foothills Mountains. You're going to be at 75 with those isolated storms, but a much lower risk. So it's not an impact day in the mountains, but it is in the triad and continued again on Tuesday. We'll get a little break on Monday and then cooler, less humid through middle of the week. Looking good.